Charred remains of 17-year-old Beth Rennick's car rested in the lot of a South Miami towing service today. The 1972 Pinto was struck from the rear yesterday on US-1 near Ludlam Road. Upon impact, the Pinto's gas tank exploded, trapping Beth and her 16-year-old passenger, Judy Tamburino, inside the flaming car. Tamburino remains in serious condition, and the driver of the other car, 31-year-old Donald Mueller, who was charged in the accident, is in critical condition. The accident is the latest in a long list involving Pintos built between 1971 and 1977. The Pinto has a gas tank behind the rear wheels, as, as opposed to laying over the rear axle. And when the bumper is struck from the back, there are bolts on the bumper, and these bolts act like a can opener. You can just imagine the bolts being rammed into the tank and if they rupture it and then move up, it's just like a can opener opening up the tank, the gas then spills out. And when the gas spills out, if there's any spark, you know, any ignition, you're going to have an immediate flaming automobile. Two years ago, Ford recalled one and a half million Pintos, but so far only half that number have had the defect corrected. Dartlin warned that once the defective Pinto's gas tank explodes, there is little hope for those trapped inside. What happens is the doors will lock or bind so that you can't get out. And then if the gas tank has been ripped open through the, uh, because of the bumper, the gas splashes on the inside of the compartment, possibly on the person. And if there's an ignition, it's just like being in an oven. Although Ford stopped building Pintos just last week, their cars are still on the road. And Pinto drivers we talked to today had mixed feelings about their car's safety. Do you like the car? Oh, yeah. Nice little car. Do you think it's a safe car? No. It's not a safe car. It's a piece of junk. These 1980 Pintos, like the 1978 and 79 models, were built without the fuel tank defect. But what is frightening is that there are half a million potentially dangerous Pintos still on the road. Elliot Rodriguez, Channel 4 News. Ford Motor Company took action almost two years ago to recall and repair the cars involved through dealer and customer notification. Nevertheless, while no accurate estimate is available, there are still a sizable number of vehicles that have never been brought back in. Included in the recall are 1971 through 1976 two- and three-door Pintos and 1975 and 1976 Mercury Bobcats, sister to the Pinto. Again, only two- and three-door models were recalled. No station wagons are involved. The problem cars have fuel tanks which can be easily punctured in rear-end collisions. What should owners of these Pintos and Bobcats do? Contact any Ford or Lincoln Mercury dealer. They can call it in on a computer system and find out within a matter of minutes whether or not their car is one that needs to be modified. No charge whatsoever. Now, what exactly is done to the automobiles when they're brought in? Well, it's a modification kit where there's a shield added at the gas tank. And that does what? Added protection in case of impact that the gas tank wouldn't crush up and collapse against the frame. The procedure is a relatively easy one, taking on the average about one hour. It is quick, costs nothing, and could save your life. Bob Mayer, Channel 4 News.